We are talking about Malachi. Malachi. I'm going to name my kid Malachi. I like it. Or my dog. Or my cat. Oh, I'm going to name a boy cat Malachi. 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 Why are you shouting at the cat? I don't know. He's probably scratching something. (laughs) Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am Tony Tony Chopper. Tony Tony Chopper. And this here is Frankie Frank Frank. (laughs) <laughs> looking warm looking a lot warmer than me i might steal that blanket halfway through the show um, it's not a blanket it's his cloak whatever you want to call it what's up guys it's thursday the first thursday in november it's the first thursday in november of 2021 of 2021 um it's there's a frost warning tonight Ooh. yeah you told me not to bring, can i talk about weather real quick you, I did never said you can't talk about weather. Yesterday, I literally encouraged you to talk about weather. All right. Let me tell you. It was so cold today. It wasn't. It was only, it was about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. No. 49 not this degrees morning. Fahrenheit. Not this morning. Well, not this you morning. You weren't out there. Midday. It was midday. I, it was warm midday. Midday. So it was nine degrees Celsius. I don't care. So tonight, it's supposed to be freezing. It's a frost warning. Right? 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So what would that make the Celsius? Zero. Good. <laughs> Zero degrees Celsius. Yeah. For the people who, who listen, who, who who are Celsians. All you Celsians out there, you hear that the SpaceX ship, you know, Elon Musk's SpaceX ship, the toilet broke. No, you're kidding. Yeah, so they have to pee themselves. Pee? What, they're out there right now? I don't know. I just saw the headline. Mm. But... I wouldn't mind. I would t- if I could go to space. You know what I was thinking about, and I was having a conversation, and nobody was hearing what I was saying. Oh, I was saying, why don't we go to the moon anymore? Why? What would we do there? Walker, I was watching a video of the moon landing, mm-hmm. <laughs> as one does when they can't sleep, and I see them just hopping around the moon, having a jolly old time, and yeah. it's like, I'm not talking about like I understand we have nothing really left to do science wise there, mm-hmm. which I bet there's stuff to do science wise, but. These billionaires that are, you know, like, who's the Virgin Mobile guy? His name is escaping me. Okay. Um, him, Jeff Bezos. Richard Branson. Richard Branson. They're all trying to get to Mars. And I'm if I was a billionaire right now, I would dial it back. Okay, let's start, stop the Mars race. I would be the first normal guy bouncing around on the moon. Imagine being on a different surface mm-hmm. than the Earth. That you're walking around and it's like, even if it's just for 30 minutes and you're looking up and there's earth, like, wow, that's where everyone in the entire world lives. And I am on a different, it's not a different well, planet, but I'm on a different it, so surface. If, so if you were like an early explorer, yeah, you would be like, why can't we just go to Ibiza? Like, why are we trying to go and find a new island? Because this island's really fun. It's kind of detached and... Like, why do we have to go out there? There's a perfectly good island right here. No, I understand that. I I hear what you're saying. There's so much to explore in the world that why are we looking up to space? Mm-hmm. I agree. I am saying for those people that are that are space minded, right? That they want to feel the difference of gravity. They want to be off this earth. Yeah. Why is there no billionaire saying, "Have fun at Mars"? I that's you know, it's got your ten years of planning to make a trip. 1960 technology got us to the moon. I'm just going to build a rocket, go to the moon, walk on the moon, do maybe like film a TikTok. Can you I imagine? Like, uh, if I was a billionaire right now, I'd be filming a TikTok on the moon. Yeah. Nobody goes anymore. It's like it's one and done for the moon. It's funny you should talk about the moon. Tonight is a full moon. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Let's do that one again. Okay. Funny you should talk about the moon. Tonight is a new moon. Which means it's not there. Which means it's not there. So you couldn't land on it today. No. <laughs> Today's the one day of the, of the, I want to go on it when I can like sit on the side and cast a fish in a row. Oh, yeah. Um, and the new moon festivals are mentioned numerous times in the Bible. Are they? Yeah. What do you do? There's Burn a, offerings? Yeah, that kind of thing. On a new moon? New moon. New moon. Every, um, you, you would know. think that'd be a full moon thing. No, new moon and Sabbath keeps, they kind of get mentioned together a lot. Huh. Um, but yeah. Interesting. And tonight, or t- yeah, starting today for five days, it's Diwali. Is that uh, Hindu? It's Hindu. Um, remember on The Office? Um, yes. Everybody get on your sorry. We're going to celebrate Diwali. Diwali is 
a festival of lights. Let me tell you something. Tonight has been one crazy night. So put on your saris. It's time to celebrate Diwali. Um, it's... It's the biggest Indian festival, lightness okay. over darkness, good over evil. Yes, we um, like those things. Yeah, but it is Hindu, Sikh, Jain, and um, I believe also Buddhist, even though maybe they're not all on the same page about like what God or what is happening. Yeah. The festival. Of so it's more lights, of an Indian festival. It is. I think it's like it recognized as like an Indian national holiday. Okay, more than yeah. more than any particular religion. Yeah. Okay. And when we were in Trinidad, uh, they celebrated it there. Oh, did they? And you guys were little and we would put the little tea light, the tea candles, you huh. line your path to your house. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's all about lighting candles and putting out lights. Light and... over dark. I like it. Maybe we should celebrate. I'll turn my lights on. Light. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it goes back 2,500 years. That's so. not that long ago. Yeah, you're right. But that's a long time ago. Poor Jesus. Be safe. Well, well, what I'm saying with that statement is I'm sure people in America are like, what? I, I, I don't know why I said that it's not that long. It's very long. No, but I see what you're saying. But no, for a holiday, it is yeah. very long. Yeah, It's yeah. probably you know, the oldest holiday. So I was talking out of, the, out of the side of my mouth, as the kids say. Well, I mean, yeah. I see what you're saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but Diwali. It's the end of Indian Festival of Lights. It's going to be five days. And um, sort of like, I don't know really about Hanukkah. Do they do different things on each day? Because in Diwali, you do different things on each day. Uh, like, like, like specific? Specific, like clean your house on this first day. And uh, I wish we it. had Diwali at this house. Uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's that. Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, happy Diwali to anyone celebrating. Yeah. We'll celebrate with you. Any food? Diwali food? Uh, maybe like butter chicken and garlic naan. Oh gosh, yeah. I don't know because the, that's my extent of the knowledge. Um, is the candles I remember. Yeah. And um, remember on the office as well. Like Kelly, the character, she didn't even know. She's yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> trying to ask her yet. So that's that. Nice, for nice, nice, nice. That's everything I have. It's cold. It's going to be freezing tonight. So bring in your pets and your leftover what would be out there i don't think any vegetables are left at this point nah i think first frost came oh wait is that what you just said i don't know if it's the first frost but uh, well, it has was, to be really yeah I, I was talking to some uh, not, i wasn't talking i was online sometimes mm. i think that uh, online is my friends um they are <laughs> um and someone was like they had to cut their peppers early right. for the first frost and they're right. like what should i do with unripe peppers well if you have unripe tomatoes you put them in a brown paper bag and close it tight, put it in a dark, cool place, and it they'll ripen. Oh. And I just did it. I got some green tomatoes from our abandoned vegetable patch, and they turned green. Um, as a matter of fact, you, you can the even... Green tomatoes that turned green? Turned red. Happy Diwali. Um, matter of fact, I put a banana in with it because it gives off a gas that... that ripens other things. That quickens the... Huh. The ripening. As for the as for the raw peppers, I don't know what happens. They said make a salsa. Apparently, peppers are are hotter when they're not ripe. I believe that. And so they were saying make like a really hot. I believe salsa. that because your brother bit into a green yeah. pepper that he had in his garden and he almost died. Yeah. Well, it makes sense, right? Like. No, I thought the redder, the the hotter. Yeah, you would think. But I guess but, it gets sweet at that point. You're right. Yeah, it's like so. Imagine any fruit. mm Hmm. Um, or what anything that grows off a vine, the longer you let it sit, the more sugars Sweet. Right, right, are, right. are added to it. So yeah. you'll have a bitter watermelon if you bite it early. Right. So what will happen if you have a hot pepper early? Mm-hmm. It's even more. Yeah, like the, the bell peppers, I, I like the yellows and reds. Actually, yellows, uh, sorry, yellows and oranges. I don't like the green or the red. Mm. So right in that centerpiece. Yeah. Good, good. Anything else? No, I don't think so. We just stretch. It's a big day. Look at the light on my face. Hey everybody, do you know what day it is? Walk through Thursday. It is walk through Thursday. Roll the intro. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cause walk through Wednesday just begun. 
What is going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday, the best time of the century. And what we do on this Walk Through Thursday, on every Walk Through Thursday, is we open up the Bible. That's always first thing. Mm-hmm. Bible's open, Bible's open, Bible's open. Then we pick a verse. We pick a verse. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where it's from. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Lemonations, Leviticus, Genesis, <laughs> Exodus, Deuteronomy. Good. It doesn't matter. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And we break it down. Mm-hmm. We slow it down for you and for us. This isn't us sitting here and just reciting Bible verses. But in the same token, in the same token, it's not us here saying... This is exactly what this means, and so live by it or you're wrong. This is a group effort to try to see what we take from it. You might take something different. Are you wrong? No, you can never be wrong when it comes to your spiritual journey and your relationship with God. Can I get an amen? Amen. So yeah, so we're going to break it down sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter, syllable by syllable. I oh I always I often say syllable by syllable after letter by le- letter, until I realize syllables sometimes comprise multiple letters. Yeah, you're right. So I should say line or sentence by sentence, word, word by, by word. wait, is sentence by sentence, line by line. There could be more than one sentence on a line. But there line sentence word no syllable cause, letter because a sentence can be more than a line. A yeah. line has a, a, a definite ending. So oh, right, right, uh, right. a sentence doesn't. Okay. Sentence is a complete thought. Mm-hmm. Sentence by sentence, line by line, syllable by syllable. No, no, sorry. <sighs> sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, syllable by syllable, letter by letter. Yeah, sorry. I got lost a little. <sighs> I got lost. Bedtime story Thursday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> line by line. So, let's get into it. We have a written out today. I'm gonna show them. Show them how. Usually we um mm-hmm. we print it out, and yeah. I told you to stop wasting paper, and I think you misunderstood <laughs> the instructions. I didn't understand the assignment. It's pure, pure white. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, good that now we're wasting paper and ink. Well, I guess it was always wasting ink. Hmm. Or oh, not. you wrote my name on we, it. We didn't waste electricity. All right. Uh, Old Testament. Every time we do Old Testament, you're like, oh, I wanted to do New Testament. Every time we do New Testament, you're like, we do so many New I did. I did review the walk through Thursdays. Yeah. And I've done way more Old Testament than I've done New Testament. I know. That's what I'm saying. You always say. I know. And I, I, that was a surprise. Well, you know what? Here's the thing. If you are truly picking random verses... It's uh, it's a, it's rigged to one side. The Old uh, Testament makes up three quarters yeah, of the yeah. Bible. But what I also found out was, four times I picked Lemon, um, Leviticus, uh-huh. and four times I picked Matthew, which was like just kept going back to it. I don't yeah. know why. Well, that's also the other thing with the New Testament. Not only is it like a quarter of the Bible, it repeats. True. So you know what? Yeah, we always say that. We're always like, how do people like know the Bible by heart? They don't. They know the New Testament by heart, which. Actually, probably isn't that hard if you read it. Like I'm sure you, people know the Old Testament by heart too. Well, yeah, I'm saying I'm saying like when on these people that you just see throw. Yeah, yeah. These people. Those people. Well, today we're not talking about the New Testament. We're not talking about Leviticus. We are talking about Malachi. Malachi. I'm gonna name my kid Malachi. I like it. Or my dog. Or my cat. Oh, I'm gonna name a boy cat Malachi. 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 Why That's are you awesome. shouting at the cat? I don't know. He's probably scratching something. <laughs> All right. Um. So what is the? Why is there so many words here? Can you help me understand this? This whole thing, we're yeah, in? yeah, yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. This whole thing. We're yeah. gonna walk through that. Yeah. Well, we better. We better speed walk. Okay. We better. <laughs> Get going. All right, guys. We're reading Malachi two. Um, seven to ten. Malachi two seven to ten. For the lips of a priest ought to preserve knowledge, because he is the messenger of the Lord Almighty, and people seek instruction from his mouth. But you have turned from the way, and by your teaching have caused many to stumble. You have violated the covenant with Levi. So I have caused you to be despised and humiliated before all the people, because you have not followed my ways, but have shown partiality? 
in matters of the law. Do we not all have one father? Do we not did not one God create us? Why do we profane the covenant of our ancestors by being unfaithful to one another? That's it. That's it. That's Malachi two seven to ten. All right. Lots that's, to unpack there. That's, that's, um, is there a backstory? The backstory is okay. So the book of Malachi is the last book in the Old Testament. The book of Malachi um, is referenced in the New Testament. Um, these these um, these verses in particular, seven to ten, you'll find in Matthew and one Corinthians. Um, so it's pertinent that way. And this is um, well, Malachi is a prophet. And he's telling us what God is saying. Okay. And the reason he is saying it to the people at this time is because the people were becoming disillusioned with their religion, mm. which goes with yesterday's podcast about doubt. Yes. Yes. And um, so that's what that's 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 the backstory of Malachi. And if you need, uh, there's two footnotes in case because I saw you gave eyebrows. Partiality. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big word. <laughs> okay. I know what prof- profane means. Maybe the people didn't. The people. We're not there yet. We're we're people for the people. Okay, let's walk through it. Yeah, we can we can take chunks of it. You know, we got yeah. For the lips of a priest ought to preserve knowledge, because he is the messenger of the Lord Almighty, and people seek instruction from his mouth. Mm-hmm. The whole thing. Yeah, whatever you. And people wait. And people seek instruction from his mouth. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like this. Okay. What is it? What is it? It sort of, I feel like, um, I don't know what the rest of this is saying, but because well, I'm not at it yet, but I feel like what it's saying is, um, you know how a police officer is meant to be a public servant? Yes. I think it's saying the exact same thing to a priest. Mm. And so when you see something like police brutality, yeah, you're like what you're saying to the police officer is you are not the law. Okay. You don't get to be the judge and jury. You're supposed to be upholding the Constitution, right? And that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, like you're not you, you are the messenger. You are the, the the middleman, right? And the same is with priests, and that's what we always say. And it's like priests are, are great, or sorry, this says priests, but any kind of that's what I was thinking. In, uh, instead of priest, it's the people who are giving you the message yes, of what, yes. um, what you're supposed to be doing. They are simply meant to be. A messenger yeah of what god is talking about and anyone that people go to mm-hmm. because they trust that person has spiritual knowledge yeah and they want to be instructed right yeah. it says um your mouth is for instruction so if if you are that person whether you're called a priest or a pastor or a, a sister or a you know a bishop whatever you're called if you're just, you don't have to be called anything if, you know, but if someone comes to you seeking spiritual instruction, oh, yeah. um, you, you should be speaking for God in a good way. Yes. Um, I think, uh, what's his name? <sighs> Billy Graham. Mm. Billy Graham would always, um, say, or like even, uh, there was a cool thing he would do. Like anytime he would get out of a car. And people would start sharing. Mm-hmm. He'd put the Bible up. Oh. And so, but like he what he didn't get out of the car and wave, and all of these cheers it's are for me. me. Right. It was like you're cheering for the Bible, and he would always say, "It's not about what I say. Right. It's about like I am simply the messenger. Right. I am simply messenger of the Lord Almighty. That's that's perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah. People in- seek instruction from his mouth. Yeah. And then the next part, I guess, because he's the messenger of the Lord Almighty, and people instruction from his yeah. But you have turned from the way and your by your teaching have caused many to stumble. And that's what we don't want to happen. That's what we don't want. And yesterday we talked about doubt. We did. And people had encountered things in 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 their own thoughts, but then of course in their places of worship or their communities of worship. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't smooth sailing. It wasn't they stumbled. They they said they they got they couldn't they they felt it wasn't um resonating with them yeah that can happen naturally but it can also happen because the teacher was not careful the teacher was not careful and he a lot of the times i feel like 
you know, I, I, it's very hard to see big religions and to differentiate spiritual teaching from politics. Yeah. And what happens with politics is you have agendas and you use them. And what, as soon as you are doing something because you believe it and it's not the message of God. Right. It's like, well, this is wrong because I don't like it. And then you, you spin it with what your beliefs are. Right. And you start, sorry, you have your beliefs and spin it with teaching you are causing people to stumble and, mm-hmm. and and you're you're diluting the original message that was meant to be right. coming from your mouth it's a, it's a, literally imagine you tell back in the days before phones i would tell you hey go tell the person down the street that um that they that i what would i tell someone i, I wasn't around this time <laughs> but I, there was i before phones no i wasn't around before phones there you were before phones like cell spencer phones, cell phones I would figure before like Edward I, Graham Bell or whatever his name I is. I don't know. T- t- I don't know what you would tell your neighbor. Go go tell them um, it's it's trash day. Okay. And then you go over and say, hey. You're a piece of trash. You're a piece of trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like, stupid example, but the idea still applies. It, yeah. It's literally the me- like that ruins the whole thing. It, it's, right. It's causing that part. Or you, you tell them something else. If I tell them trash days tomorrow and you go over and say uh, trash days on Tuesday and then they're like, oh, OK, thank you. And then what will cause them to stumble is when they miss trash day. Right. Because you chose upon yourself right. to do it. Yeah. Now, that's not really a great example. Because, <laughs> well, it, it's off the cuff. Yeah. Because the true example, I'll just explain the example. Rather okay. Than give one, OK. Is the messenger has their own agenda. And, mm-hmm. and, oh, right. And so it's like. Say you you need butter, and I say go over there and ask for sugar, and you go over and you grab butter, True. and it's like you were doing it for yourself, and True. they think that they're sending your right. mo- your mom right um, butter. Yeah, um, people people oftentimes say that they try to bring people into the church or into um, spirituality or or on God's path. I'm trying to bring people in. I'm trying to save people. I'm trying to tell them what's right. Yeah. Um, the flip side of that is, why don't you try to not discourage them? Try not to make them stumble. Try not to yeah. turn them off. Yeah. So it's it's equally as important. They're, you're not supposed to make someone stumble. So don't do or say or act in a certain way under God's name. Because you could be affecting people's spirituality. Yes. Um, you have violated the covenant with Levi. Um, anything on that? No, I think he's just the priest. That's the Levi, tribe, right? Yeah, okay. so the, the, the tribe of Levi. Like There was the original Israelites broken into groups. The Levites were the priests of the group. Yeah. And so I imagine the covenant with Levi... I don't. I, I read it, I just can't remember. Was the initial, this is what it means to be a priest. Right. And, and so you're breaking that initial right. what it means to be a priest. Right. Yeah. And I, it puts me in mind of um, Jesus teaching where people said, I want to be an apostle. I want to be, I want to spread the word. I want to be um, a mouthpiece for you. And he told a lot of them like, no, it's not for you. So everyone doesn't have to do it because, you know, even, even doctors nowadays, right, do no harm, you know. Because it's it's not as easy as just shouting out your opinion to people because you think that that's yeah. you know correct. You have responsibility. You have responsibility. Look at the Pope. <laughs> Why? But just look why at not? Them. <laughs> look at the Pope today. <laughs> so I have caused you to be despised and humiliated before all the people because you have not followed my ways, but have shown partiality in matters of the law. And what does partiality mean? Partiality means favoritism, unfair bias. So just to, you know, the, I feel like the beginning, you know, the Bible is a story of, of what's going on. So mm-hmm. that's just sort of going at the uh, the actual right. story. I don't think we need to spend too much time. Yeah, because about. even like the tribe of Levi is, it's the story part of it, but I don't know if it people can get much from it. At, yeah. You know. So what we're, what we're really looking at here is still talking to the priests. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you have not followed my ways, but have shown partiality in the matters of the law. I mean, if you want to look at the, the first part, it, it in a way, it's I condemn those actions. Yeah. I, I condemn the actions. Why? Because you've not followed my ways. And, and you know, people have been humiliated. Um, pastors who have been outed as yeah. abuse of power, you know, yeah. it, it, that 
even though the Old Testament, yes, is very fire and brimstone, but you know, they say everything you do in the dark comes to light. And- yep. So you've not followed my ways, but you've shown favoritism on for bias in the matters of the law. Now, here's what I want to say about this, guys. Um, this is not the only time we see uh, people come at high priests for yeah. hypocrisies or, or right, changing the yeah, law. Hypocrisy, you, see, right. you see it how many hundred hundreds of years later with Jesus talking to them. Right. And a lot of the times in the Bible, I mean, you know, it's it's words that last forever, but a lot of people think, oh, okay, we learned from that and we're good now. No, this is always a problem. Always and a problem. and, I, and I, so right. I feel like the quicker you can understand that this is always a, a thing, the quicker you're not you're you're more open open eyed to yeah. seeing that this is still happening today. Right. I'm not calling out any specific no. church or person who's doing it at all, but I'm saying to keep your eyes open that this is always going to be a problem. Anytime someone is a messenger of God, they have the ability to not say the true message. Right. And it's why I urge people. Even parents. Yeah. Yeah. And it's why I urge people to have their own spiritual journey, learn for themselves. Right. And then when you are listening to a messenger, it's, yeah, you know what it is? You, it, it's I, I it's so important to have a, your own relationship with God and know him you know if you want to read the Bible if you want to do whatever because then when somebody comes over with you to you with a message if if that message makes sense to you you're like oh yeah of course but you might hear someone say they did not say that like right. oh like oh my, my neighbor you know we have a great relationship came up, some there someone comes over and says they said that they hate you and they want they want right. uh, they they think you should move out. Right. I'd be like, they would never say that. No. And, and so I think that's why it's so important to have your own knowledge because right. that like the messenger is still good if they come over and say, hey, they said that uh you know oh you left your car door open. I'm like oh I believe that I know right. I know them and I know that someone that they would look out for. Right. Yada yada. So in that way, um, lost my train of thought. But in that way, yeah. Yeah. So we can go. Do we not all have one father? Did not one God create us? Now, what does that mean? I just love it for the, we just talked about Diwali and we talked about Sikhs and Jains and Hindus and Buddhists and and, and Christians and Jews. And, and, um, we all have one father and we all have, um, one person who created. Well, yeah, actually. So if you think about it like this. What, it, what the sentence right before is you have shown partiality, which means favoritism or unfair bias. And then right after it's, do we not have all, all have one father? Do we not, do not all one God create us? So I actually really like that in the sense of it's saying we are like, everyone's your neighbor. Everyone's yeah. equal. Don't say you, like, that if you want to, Oh, where well I, who are these priests that we should be watching out for? Anyone that is putting down a certain type of people and right. anyone that's calling out a certain type of people. Right. It's them. It, it, that, that That is favoritism and un, unfair bias. It, right. it, to them, you would say, exact words from Malachi, do we not all have one father? Do we not all have one right. God who created right. us? Like, how can you put down a, a one right. group? And, if, and, if, and if, you, if you turn and say, oh, well, the Hindus don't have one, you know, your, if your belief yeah. is that we have one God and one father yes. who created all of us, you act accordingly like that yes. and you treat everybody yeah. as your brother don't worry about yeah, what they're doing exactly it, it, it's your belief is is not you should become christian so that we can share god it's you you live your good life i love you i believe yeah. and i love you and i believe god loves you right. as a, you know and that's your belief why do we profane what does that word mean disrespect thank you for the footnotes <laughs> why do we disrespect the covenant of our ancestors by being unfaithful to one another. Right. Now, unfaithful is obviously has a modern definition that between a couple, but unfaithful just means get the disrespectful get yeah. part, I guess, yeah. you know, and why, yeah, why, why are not we supporting? not, not like, yeah, loyal to each other? Loyal, right. Um, yeah, loyal to making all the people you encounter the best exactly that they could be. Yeah, why do we, and then why do we profane from the covenant? Or why do we, Disrespect the covenant, the agreement, you know, that that Abraham made with God so that God loves us and, right. and we love each other. Like, the, like as simple as it gets. Right. Or, you know, at this point, yeah, the covenant with our ancestors would also be like the Ten Commandments. Like, right. love your neighbor. So why do you disrespect this idea of loving everybody? Right. 
by being unfaithful to one another. Right. It mm. is the even Noah's Ark has happened. So it's, you know, it's the just the love for the humankind on Earth yes. and for us all to be brothers and sisters and to live the time on Earth. Yes. Um, Equally nice to each other. Why are you making things difficult? Yeah. And that's a wrap. Well, that is Malachi 2, 7 to 10. But like I, like, you know, you might always hear me say, um, oh, if you break down the Bible, it's all comes down to love. But I think, you know, like, this is what I mean by it. Not one place does this, is there love in this. But. Oh, right. When you break it down, you you can turn all, like, all of this into you know like uh, are you acting in love are you acting in love and it's like these priests weren't they were uh, showing favoritism unfair bias and it was like why why are we not being faithful to each other it's like it's all just that idea of promoting like uplifting each other why are yeah why are you tearing people apart like why love, the idea is love love and i'm your love doctor but anyway that is it for walk through thursday any final words no happy dwali is what i was oh. <laughs> Um, we'll be back tomorrow for Fun Friday. Go Longhorns. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> what are Longhorns?